car crash. His loved ones are remembering him. In September 2011, 18-year-old Cody Hasty was killed on Needmore Road in Riverside when the car he was riding in rolled several times. Hasty's family says the driver, Jonathan Bullock, was sentenced to eight months for vehicular homicide. The deadly crash sparked a brawl at Kilcare Raceway in April 2012, and it was all caught on camera. Officials say Hasty's friends wanted revenge and attacked Bullock. Two people were charged with assault as a result of that fight. Jackie Sprague has more on the family's tribute tonight in our top story you'll see only on two. Cody Hasty's family and friends didn't want Sunday to be about his death, but rather his life. So they came together here at Rural Park to remember him by doing what he loved. That he definitely was loved. Cody Hasty's mother chokes back tears as she talks about her son. He's fun, smiling, always happy. Cody was killed in a car crash in September 2011, just days before his 19th birthday. Well, as the family, we're just taking it day by day. It's, you know, we have our moments. Holidays is really rough. Sunday marked the second anniversary of Cody's death. There's nothing I can't forget. Little things means the most. So his loved ones held a celebration of life event at Rohrer Park Sunday. It included a basketball tournament because it was Cody's favorite sport. We're just here, you know, just, just remembering a wonderful person that touched a lot of different people in a lot of different ways. And, you know, so we're out here doing what he liked to do, and that's play basketball and have a great time. To close out the day's events, family and friends lit candles in Cody's memory. Thank you for having another year with them all being here. Cody would have turned 21 on September 30th, so a balloon was released into the night sky to celebrate his short but full life. Please be with these children and help them have another year without Cody. I know it's hard, but with your help, we can make it. And Cody's mother tells me they hope to have this event every year to keep his memory alive. Reporting in Riverside, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.